The smoothing functions can be used uh, a couple of different ways. You can set values from the image or set values to uh, smooth from the histogram. And let's take a quick look at both. If we open the histogram, this is the histogram of the complete image. And remember, we have this black area created from polar alignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure this copy a portion is depressed. Then I'll left click and pull this sub-image out. And that's the one I'm going to work with. Uh, this one's not clipped at all in the background. Uh, it has very few down there at that level. Okay, uh, what I want to do is smooth this combed area. So I right click where I want to set the maximum value and left click where I want to set the minimum value. And it's already set to zero, so it'll stay there. Now you press the set min max apply button and select the smoothing or sharpening filter really. It's, the process is the same, but we're going to smooth this dark background. So I'll open up the multi-resolution tool and see it comes set with uh, minimum set to zero, maximum 28195, and that's on a 16-bit scale. Uh, I'll move the slider to the left a little bit in the finest region and that'll uh, do a nice job of smoothing that out. Uh, maybe the fine slightly and then I'll increase the, uh, the feather range a little. Okay, and that smooths out this background. In what's happening is it's, it's just smoothing the uh, luminance values. This is a grayscale image from 0 to 28195 on a 16-bit scale and then it feathers out towards this edge on both sides uh, another thousand values or so and blends it back into the unaffected area. So this part of the image hasn't changed at all. It hasn't been affected. But this background area uh, has been smooth. Now suppose I want to sharpen M1 and still keep that smooth background. Okay. Well, what I can do is, uh, first of all, since I have already applied multi-resolution smooth sharpen once and I want to use it again to sharpen, I need to press the set view button. That means keep the current parameters and allow me to apply the same filter again with new parameters. Otherwise, if I didn't press set view, uh, Images Plus would think you were trying, still trying to adjust the parameters from the smoothing. Okay, so you press set view, and then uh, I'm going to reset the command, and I'm going to move the black level all the way up to white, and the white level all the way to 65535. Uh, now I can do a quick sharpen there. And you can see M1's getting sharpened, uh, making a little ridge there, so I'm probably going to want to increase that feather radius a little. M1's been sharpened, maybe a little too much. And the background's still been smoothed. Uh, another way to do this would be, uh, let's press reset, reset, let's reset everything. If I want to pick values from the image rather than the histogram, uh, the min apply, I would check it and uh, click on the background level. Well, it's zero, and I guess that's what I really want to use anyways. So I'll keep it at zero. Max apply right to the edge for the smoothing. Give it a little bit of a feather radius, and so now you can smooth with the values that have been selected from the image. And it works the same for smoothing and sharpening. It's just the, the, the different levels that you're picking, that's all. Same with selecting from the histogram. Left click to set the uh, left min, right click to set the right max, and then pick your filter and they're uh, 
sent to the filter when it's open. Now if I were to adjust one of these min-max levels while the histogram's open, see right now it's set to zero for min. If I bring that up, it'll update the histogram automatically. And uh, that's true for all the smoothing, sharpening, and deconvolution tools with min-max and feather range. They all work this way and you can get at all of them using this to set from the histogram or pick values from the image using this min-max checkboxes.